Institute School of Coach Boxing Hour, brought to you by George Rogan Insurance. We're here live at the Golden Week, 651, Hobart, Indiana. Uh, really quick, let me get the phone number out for Nations Collide. That is a one in a million, pre uh, one in a million incorporated presentation. Uh, Friday, February 1st. Again, Dangerous Don Moore is going to be taking on Francisco Panchito Zabeda. Also, Michael Walker of Midnight Soccer, Jimmy Holmes, the fucking school teacher of Vermont, Derek Superman Finley, Ed Ochoa of Hobart, and Jimmy Perez Jr. Uh, you can get tickets by calling the Scar Plaza Theater box office at 219 791 1234 or from any Ticketmaster location at area code 312 559 1212 or as always, www.ticketmaster.com. Tonight's Golden Leaf Fighter, you should know, right off of the IBHOF. Dot com website, the International Boxing Hall of Fame, is Hall of Famer Sam Langford. When we're talking about first ballot Hall of Famers, he was inducted in 1990, which is the year they started, so here we go. Hall of Famer Sam Langford. One of many top black boxers denied a chance to fight for a championship largely because of racial discrimination, Sam Langford took on every fighter he could from lightweight to heavyweight in his 24-year career. He combined great punching power and agility with intelligence and courage. Those who agreed to face Langford often considered him so dangerous they would request assurances that he would be merciful in the ring. That's ridiculous. Because the pool of his potential opponents was so limited, Langford at times held, ba held back in hopes of a rematch. Born in Canada, Langford began his professional boxing career in 1902 at the age of 19 with a knockout victory over Jack McVicker in Boston, Massachusetts. Quickly rising to prominence, Langford defeated Joe Gans in 1903. The next year, he fought to a draw with Joe Walcott, that is the original Joe Walcott, Barbados Joe Walcott, not to be confused with Jersey Joe Walcott, who fought Clay and all those other days. In 1906, though he was outweighed by at least 20 pounds, Langford faced the future heavyweight champion of the world, Jack Johnson. Langford lost the 15-round decision and never really had Johnson in trouble, although years later, exaggerated accounts circulated that Langford had nearly beaten Johnson. Once he was champion, Johnson refused to give Langford a title shot. In 1910, Langford fought a very tough six-round no-decision bout against the aggressive middleweight champion of the world, Stanley Ketchell. Langford scored well in the early rounds, but Ketchell took control towards the end of the fight. Newspaper accounts generally awarded the decision to Ketchell, although the verdict could have gone either way. Langford was never given an opportunity to fight for Ketchell's title. In 1911, Langford made short work of former light heavyweight champion Philadelphia Jack O'Brien with a fifth round knockout. Because of his difficulty in fighting matches, Langford often fought the same opponents, especially other black fighters, in a similar predicament over and over. Langford and Harry Wills tangled 18 times. Wills knocked Langford out twice and generally had the better of the series, although it must be noted that the first meeting occurred when Langford was 31 years old. That was the first time they fought. They fought 18 times. Crazy. Langford had more than 10 fights against Sam McVeigh, Joe Jeanette, Jim Barry, Jeff Clark, and Big Bill Tate. After almost 300 recorded fights, Langford retired at the age of 43. In his last years in the ring, he was troubled by eye problems, which eventually resulted in his blindness. When he, when he finally did retire, he struggled to live comfortably until a sports writer's fund for his care was established. Born March 4, 1883, died January 12, 1956. He had 293 total fights. Please, take five fighters fighting a day. You're not getting a 293. Are you kidding me? He won 168 of them. He lost 38 times. He drew 37 times. 117 wins came by way of knockout. Again, are you kidding me? 48 no decisions, three no contests. He was inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame of Canada Store, New York, in the year 1990. Tonight's Golden Leaf Fighter, you should know, Sam Langford. Special thanks to the International Boxing Hall of Fame, Canada Store, New York, uh, especially Mr. Ed Rofi, who is the president and chairman of the Boxing Hall of Fame. We will be down there making our annual pilgrimage and appearance in Canastota uh, for the 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, with the induction ceremony being on the 8th. That is Sunday, the 8th of June, um, for Freddie, for, uh, um, well, Larry Holmes is being inducted, but several other guys are as well. But I'm going to see Larry Holmes because I have not had the chance of meeting him and getting, get, getting a handshake from him. Well, that. there's a lot of guys that will be there, a lot of heavyweights. Outside well, they're all going to be coming in to, to, to support God. Larry Holmes. Absolutely. Oh, I cannot wait for that. That is going to be out damn standing. For Nestor Garza Romero, Emil Soto Papinski, Kekabon, Timmy the Producer, Patterson, Kevin Crazy Licks, Patterson, I am your host, Chris Guzman, wishing you peace and punches.
This has been your Polo Punch Boxing Hour brought to you by George Rogi Insurance. www.hssp.cc.sportsjuice.com. Save us a ringside seat.